Living Light Cancer, welcome to the channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Looks like you're closing a cycle uh, with someone in a connection and you're rejecting this person. So this is telling me like someone wants to talk to you, but you don't want to talk to them. Okay. You're like, no, thank you. I don't need closure or I don't want to circle back here. I, I, you know, we don't have to have a conversation. That's the energy that's coming out here. So definitely someone here, I'm getting toxic energy. Somebody's about to tempt you. I feel like someone is getting ready to come towards you to try to tempt you to take an offer. Yeah, but it's too late. Look at this energy. It's too late. This person is, a, a uh, what did they say? A day late and a dollar short. Yeah. Show me more here. Mm -hmm. Oh, police station. What is going on with this energy? Okay, so definitely some toxic energy here. This person may be upset when you reject them. I hope that's not what this energy is. Show me more about this police station energy spirit, guys. Oh, this person's going to be mad, y'all. Psycho. Crazy ex obsessed. Won't let you go. <sighs> I hope somebody don't come towards you. Somebody might be trying to pop up somewhere or be somewhere where they are not wanted. Somebody is not doesn't know how to take no for an answer i feel like you've already closed this cycle out with this person you're not interested some of y'all may have already told this person you're not interested if you haven't already told this person you're not interested or you don't want to try to make this work again you don't want another cycle with them it's you're, you're not interested oh my goodness some of y'all might be getting information that somebody here is going to jail or they went somebody may call you collect i don't know what this is about somebody might be calling y'all to bail them out of jail who is this this is definitely somebody here who was off and on somebody that you've been in several like cycles with this person was it has been in and out of your life and it took a lot for you to detach from this person and some of y'all may have even been ghosted by this person here with this energy literally ghosted on the bottom of the deck and then i'm seeing trickster phony illusion bad credit debt unemployed and then bad news so whoever this person is somebody's lost their job they're having legal problems they don't have any money unfortunately they have a money problem so and they don't know how to let you go some of y'all this person is in jail or they're running from the law Ugh. all right let's see What's this closing cycle energy? Show me more here for the collector. I don't know, y'all. I just be reading the cards, okay? This is definitely somebody here that you were in a relationship with that you closed the cycle out with this person. You're just done, okay? Show me more about this rejection energy for the collector. Concern. I'm telling you, this person is wow. Somebody's nervous that you're going to reject them and then it's definitely too late. There's something very important about time, the timing of something like when this happens, make sure y'all are paying attention to like the timeline or I don't know if this person thinks like you've already moved on. Show me more about this concern energy with rejection. Somebody here may be 33 years old. Somebody's concerned they're about to go to jail. Or they're in spiritual jail. Look at this energy. Somebody here could be in the military. Somebody could be getting dishonor dishonorably discharged here. Um, somebody's, it's like somebody's about to get bad news. Either legal bad news. Mm. What's this concern with high honor? Yeah. Courthouse. Can't make it up. Bottom of the deck. The number 23, and then we have false narrative and transition. I feel like somebody here gossiped about a situation or, or tried to ruin somebody else here. Huh. And it didn't work out too well for this person. Wow. What's this too late energy? That's crazy. This is not going to end well. Show me this too late energy. 
So it's too late because a lot of y'all have moved on to real love. You've already moved on from this person and you are going to reject them. If this person comes back towards you, collect them, you are going to reject them. This is over. I feel like this is somebody here who gossiped, who may have spread lies about you because they're upset with you because you ended things or you closed the toxic cycle with this person. Show me about this police station energy. Somebody ass is definitely going to jail. Show me about this police state. Oh my gosh. Somebody may have be going to jail because they mess with somebody who's underage. Somebody may be catching a charge because they mess with somebody underage. I hope that's not what this is, but child came out with lust. Somebody here is getting ready to go to dang on jail. Show me more about this child energy and love. <sighs> Show me more about this child energy and love. Now, for some of y'all, if this person did not deal with um, a, an underage child, then they didn't pay child support. Okay, that message is not going to be for everybody. But I do feel like this crazy ex that won't let you go collective, they, you're, you get a lot of attention. You're in this star seed, rising star energy here. Somebody could be born in 1977 with the uh, rising star energy. Then we have star seed energy out here. I feel like you get a lot of attention. You are in this divine energy, earth angel energy, right? Um, you are like a light worker and uh, you, you might a star seed, like you have some form of spiritual gifts. You may work with like spirituality. Some of y'all might be a tarot reader. Okay. You, you do have some form of gift here. You have a divine gift from God. Like you're definitely a star seed here with this energy. The, here's the thing though. There's a karmic feminine involved in this situation with your person. So I don't know if like this, this, there's somebody here attached to your person who is in poverty. Okay. I just want you to know that like somebody here is getting ready to go to jail. Either this person is attached. I feel like this person is attached to your person. One of them too is crazy. I don't, I haven't figured it which, who is who yet, but there's a karmic feminine here that has something to do with this. Show me more about this. Yeah, hold on a second y'all. Cause some cards done slid out. We have moving on. This is you collective. You're moving on. You're minding your own business. You're doing good. You're focused on your money or you just focus on everything other than what this person has going on. You're just living your life. And I feel like you're living your life in your full, like you're, you're just minding your own business. I don't, I don't know. You're just in this divine, divine energy. Right. And then we have unexpected money. So I feel like y'all are moving on to bigger and better things here. You're, you're getting this ace of pentacles. You've moved on to just focusing on your bag, focusing on your career, focusing on your stability and your finances. And somebody over here is in this energy of poverty. And it's definitely a karmic feminine or who your person, whoever your person is attached to. <sighs> Show me more about this karmic feminine. Who is this karmic feminine? Who is this karmic feminine? This karmic feminine has an entity attachment. Okay. Who this is like giving Queen of Wands energy in reverse. Divine masculine. Ooh. This the karmic feminine tried to attach a attach an entity to your divine masculine. So your divine masculine may have a karmic feminine who's crazy and won't let go. And they had to call the police on this crazy karmic feminine so for some of y'all that could be the issue too okay flipping and switch it apply it where it fits this is looking real crazy but so far so good like following along here so let's see because somebody's definitely in devil energy mm. somebody here is broke somebody here is having legal problems the police are having to be called somebody's definitely going to jail somebody here has a felony or they're about to be charged with a fel felony and they're waiting to hear back with this courthouse energy and concern. Somebody's waiting to hear like back on a court date or something crazy like that. 
Show me more about this connection or this situation. Spirit guides. The strength card. Leo energy. Hermit. Virgo energy. So somebody's holding back and not saying anything. Ten of Pentacles energy and the judgment. Scorpio. I feel like this is your energy here. You're holding back. You really are minding your business and staying to yourself with this energy is what I'm feeling. You're focused on your family. Like I said, you're focused on your money, your stability, your security. Whatever you have going on at home is your number one main concern and priority at this moment in your life is who I'm talking to. Judgment energy, energy is like, you know, evaluating something. Somebody here is really evaluating somebody in their family. Something that occurred. What's this judgment energy? Let me let me clarify. Page of Pentacles. What's this judgment energy? The Page of Wands. And what's this Page of Wands? Somebody here definitely feels rejected. Okay, your person feels like you walked away from them. You don't have anything to say. Four of Cups in the rejection energy. You just walked away. It's like somebody wants to say something to you. Page of Wands, page, uh, page of Pentacles energy. This is somebody definitely from the past. This is a masculine that you're associated with. So, yeah, like I said, you turned your back on the situation in this person. And you're focused on your family, your money. Um, and this person feels like they've missed an opportunity with you and you've moved on. You're just focused on you. Show me more. Two of Cups, Six of Swords, Page of Swords. So somebody here is watching you after you've set some form of boundary. Queen of Swords energy here. You're just standing on business. You're just focused on you. Uh, Page of Swords energy is somebody researching, you know, looking something up, trying to get more information. It's like curious energy, um, trying to find out more about like where you, I just heard somebody's trying to find out where you moved or where you, where you live or where you are going. Where did you go? Because this person is still in love with you, Two of Cups. Y'all have definitely moved on. Some of y'all have, like, literally moved, like, far away. You know, like, if you were living in the same city or town or the same side of town, I feel like y'all have distanced yourself physically from the situation and from this person. I don't feel like you even know what, what this is and what's going on in this person's life. Show me more about this situation. Yeah, this is over. This is over. The world. A cycle is completed. The cycle is closed. You're done. This is a wrap. This is such a wrap. The magician, the death card, and the justice card. This is a total wrap for you. And I feel like something else is over for a, a masculine somewhere else. Somebody here could be getting a divorce. Somebody could be divorcing a karmic feminine who's crazy, psycho, went to jail, for some of y'all, this masculine could be going to jail or could be facing jail time. Um, for others of you, it could be this karmic feminine that, that um, they are attached to or that they're with, okay? So show me more on this karmic feminine, please, spirit guides. You could be a Scorpio or a Gemini or a Libra. Show me more on this karmic feminine. This is somebody attached to this masculine. This is somebody attached that has something to do with this masculine. They could be a Pisces. They could be an Aries or an air sign. But this is somebody who's attached to this divine masculine. I feel like this divine masculine is running, trying to run away. They're trying to run away from this person. Show me more about this emperor, please. Poetic justice is playing and, and the justice card card is out here i don't know somebody's about to get justice or they're trying to get justice what's this emperor energy please the nine of cups what's this emperor energy and the tower what's this tower the five of cups in the moon seven of cups on the bottom of the day you could be a cancer or a scorpio or your person or the situation is involving a cancer or a scorpio five of cups in the moon card somebody is in deep 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 regret in their feelings emotional sad like over this tower mm. 
Show me more here about this tower of spirit gods. That's this masculine. Show me more. I feel like this masculine didn't didn't expect this karmic feminine to be. Yeah, they didn't expect this. What's this tower? Yeah, evil eye, family. Oh my god. <sighs> For some of y'all, this could be somebody in your family that you know, or this is somebody in this divine masculine's family. Okay, I see what's going on. Somebody in this, I feel like there's a karmic feminine attached to this masculine. But also, there's a family member attached, involved in this whole situation. Yeah, because we do have the Ten of Pentacles here. There is a, this masculine is closing a cycle out with somebody in their family or moving away from their family. So they are attached to a karmic feminine who could have tried to do magic or was sending them the evil eye or doing some form of magic here with this ascending and evil eye energy. Somebody here could be born in 1985 or 1998. But um, like I'm saying, this tower... Okay, balloons. I guess it's a celebration. I don't know, y'all. This software is crazy. I look up and I see balloons. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's, I feel like this masculine is about to be celebrating. Or somebody thought they were about to be celebrating. That could be what this is. It's like somebody, this masculine was attached to a karmic feminine. But somehow working with a family member who was trying to do magic or evil eye. Somebody caught a case. And this is somebody in their family. Literally. Legal. Legal family. And then we have mentally unstable. And then we have abuse underneath that. And then we have a veil in voodoo. I cannot make this shit up. This masculine is dealing with a lot. I feel like they're dealing with a karmic feminine that they're trying to get the f away from that won't don't doesn't want to let them go. The police are having to be called. This person is closing out a cycle. It's over. And they're like, "No, it's not. It's not over. It's not over. Not over my dead body. It's not over." You know, it, it, I'm going to go do some voodoo. I'm going to go do some magic. And I guess this person thought they were going to be able to stop this masculine for, from leaving. But they're not going to be able to stop. <sighs> Show me more about this divine masculine. Let's see. Show You may or may not even know this person, you guys. So apply it where it fits. Where, who is this divine masculine? Show me this divine masculine's energy spirit, guys. Yeah. This divine masculine is going through a lot of conflict and drama right now. They are. They, like, a lot of drama. You know? Show me this divine masculine. Energy. Abundance. And this is all over money. I feel like this is all over money. People are... They, they need this masculine for money. Whoever this is. This is all over money. Some of y'all... Yeah. What's this emperor? Show me this emperor's energy. Yeah, there's a fight over money. There's a legal situation over money. Okay, this masculine is awakening to the fact that whoever this is in their family or their com in their community, somebody who they trusted, somebody who they never thought would have been in cahoots with a karmic feminine is the energy that I'm seeing and getting here. Now there's a legal, now there's a legal matter involving a family. Could be someone has children. Could be somebody in their own family if this person doesn't have children. It's, it's, what does this have to do with the collective spirit? What does this have to do with the collective? What does this have to do with the collective? Um, so, 
spirit is just only thing that spirit is telling me here is mature woman so you may be a mature woman or you may resonate as a divine feminine but spirit wants you to know that you're protected from any of this drama if you haven't met this person and that drama comes up or you're made aware of it or you recognize it you're protected from that or this person is going to protect you from this okay this mature woman divine feminine and protection okay so either way you're protected spirit is just i guess letting you know you know what i'm saying yeah, I told you. Didn't I tell you? I didn't even notice that Jezebel came out. That's that Queen of Wands in reverse energy. That Queen of Wands in reverse, this Jezebel is the one who's mentally unstable. They do not want to let this damn masculine go. This person is abusive. I feel like, uh, yeah, karmic. This person was dealing with somebody else for money. Karmic, masculine, and boss. Ugh. This is giving three... This is giving third party. Somebody's karmic feminine was dealing with um, a, a divine masculine's family member or somebody that they knew in their in their community somehow, some way, or in their family. And it's all over money. And I feel like these two people were in cahoots all over money to take somebody. Show me this boss energy. Who's this boss energy? Divination. Yeah. Who's this boss energy? Someone did everything they could to this boss energy. Magic. False. False narrative. They could have lied. They could have um, lied on court paperwork. They could have... Uh, filed a false police report or uh what's the word uh fraud fraudulent um what do they call it with forgery something like that and it's all over money and they whatever they did with this divination and the expectation they expected it to work but it didn't work so what's the outcome gonna be for these karmic spirit change karma <laughs> the outcome is collective their whole life is about to change it's about to be turned upside fucking down hmm? okay they're about to get karma for this shit the number says 100 spirit says we keeping it 100 over here karma boo for doing this voodoo it's returned back to the sender. Everything they tried to do to keep this masculine stuck, return to center. So I don't know where you fit in this situation. This could be your person that you're in separation with. For some of y'all, you haven't met this person and this is what they went through. And somehow, some way, you're going to hear about this on the tail end or you're going to find out about it. Spirit wants you to know that you're protected from this and this masculine is going to do everything that they can to protect you from this so you don't need to worry. And for some of y'all, I mean, you know where this story lies for you. I don't I don't know. I, You know what I'm saying? This was cray cray. Return to sender. Return to sender. Return to sender, boo. I love y'all. I feel like I'm going to leave it there. Um, have a good night. Have a good morning. Have a great, great day. Subscribe to the channel. Hit your um, notification bells and make sure it's turned on to all so you receive notifications on when I upload new videos. Join us over there on Patreon where we have commercial free uh, readings. Twin Flame, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine readings over there. Weekly Oracle readings. $5 a month is all it takes. That's it. It, but if this is where we end here, I'll see y'all later. Mwah. Love you, love you, love you. Hit the like button. Bye.